You're watching NBC 25 Sports. High school football players around the state dream of playing at Ford Field for a state championship for the Ithaca Yellow Jackets. They just call that the last Friday of November because they're always at Ford Field. At least they have been for the last four seasons anyway. So let's take, take a look at Ithaca again, this time taking on Clinton. Supposedly a formidable squad, but early on in this ball game, Ithaca marches just right down the field. Travis Smith to Josh Hafner, and look at this effort. Leaps over the player, gets flipped, but that's still a touchdown. 15 yards, 7 nothing. Yellow Jackets. Travis Smith on offense, pretty good. On defense, even better on this drive. 30-yard pick 6, and just like that, it's 14 nothing. Yellow Jackets. So you're thinking this one might be a route. You would be wrong because the Redskins come storming back. Colin Poor, very rich here on this 18 yard touchdown run. The two point conversion as well makes this a six point ball game. Then after a three and out for Ithaca, you have Clinton's Matthew Sexton, 86 yards on the punt return all the way to the barn. 15 14 Clinton but it would be 21-15 in favor of the Yellow Jackets at the half. In the third quarter, more Josh Hafner. His two of four receptions, his second touchdown, he also had 45 yards. Travis Smith was a man possessed. 137 yards on the ground, 247 through the air. Five total touchdowns as we get the four peak going. Ithaca wins this one 41-22. 56-game winning streak intact and also their fourth straight state championship. <laughs> it's an incredible feeling. I mean, growing up with them and being best friends with all of them uh, my whole life, it's just really special to look around, holding up the f our fourth state championship trophy, looking around, seeing all my best friends with me. That's a little overwhelming, I'll be honest with you, because uh, I, I never dreamed of that. Like I said, my career didn't start this way. And uh, to, be, to be where we're at is just a credit to our players and our coaches and, and our community. Our administration stands behind us and supports us 100%. Uh, and it's, it's, it's the perfect storm. Let's put this Ithaca team in perspective. The seniors on this year's squad have never lost a varsity football game in their lives. It's truly incredible. The Aggie faithful came out to support their squad is making their second straight forward field appearance after the Crusaders opened up the game with an Alex Landowski 78 yard TD run. Beale City has the more methodical approach. Hayden Huber caps off a six play 65 yard drive with a two yard plunge, but the Aggies missed the PAT and trail by one. Ensuing drive for Muskegon Catholic Central fourth and goal. Lewandowski finds pay dirt again. 14 6 Crusaders lead. Final drive of the first half. MCC threatening again, but big number 71. Nick Hugerhide picks off the Nick Holt pass to end the half. Aggies went into the locker room down eight. In the second half, the Crusaders came out swinging. Lewandowski getting loose again, this time for 66 yards on the scoring touch. Number 15 had 16 carries for 218 yards and three scores. 21-6 MCC. Now with the Aggies needing to respond, they start pressing and turning the ball over after that interception. Catholic Central in good shape to score, and they would. This time Tommy Scott gets in on the action. MCC just too strong in the second half as the Aggies lose for the second straight year in the championship game, this time by a 35-12 final. 